up, fellow marketers? Professor Walters here, and today we're going to talk about branding. We're going to talk about why is branding important, what is branding, and, and what are some of the things that branding does for us. And the thing is, you have to realize is that branding is important because it represents an experience. I mean, think about it. I love Doctor Who. I'm a big Whovian, right? I love, it doesn't matter who the doctor is, from Tom Baker, David Tennant, whatever, you know what you're going to get with Doctor Who, right? The doctor, no matter what face there, there is, is going to do what's right. It's going to fight for what's right. It's going to look out for the less fortunate, try to save the universe. Doesn't matter who the actor is or the actress is, we know what the Doctor Who brand experience is. And so you have that. And the thing, the same thing works when I have Heinz ketchup, right? And or if I have Lunchables, there's a certain thing you know what you're gonna get. I mean, some people are like, no, if it's not a Heinz ketchup, I don't want it, you know, because there's certain things you expect with it. And and this idea of an experience that goes along with a brand is what makes branding so powerful. Because consumers are moving toward experiences, and if our brand can represent a certain kind of experience, that can help out, especially if people value that experience. Like, I value the tasty goodness of Heinz ketchup, right? My youngest son values the Lunchables, which is also made by Heinz, Kraft Heinz, by the way. Same company, also same company, makes Kool-Aid. And the thing is, is if I try to give him one of the other brands that are like Lunchables, he's like, nah, man, nah, bro, I'm, I'm out, I'm out. He just doesn't like it. He's like, well, there's certain, he wants the Lunchable experience. And so we start to see, it's like, yeah, our brands can really represent a certain type of experience, like a Disney experience, right? If I say Disney experience, what do you think of? Oh, it's family friendly, there's gonna be princesses, Mickey's gonna run around and you're gonna spend a lot of money, but you're gonna have fun doing it, right? And so you're like, okay, I, I see what you mean. I mean, I think back, my nieces are, are, are grown now, they're older now, but when they were little tiny, like two-year-olds, I didn't know what to buy a two-year-old niece, so what I do? Ah, Disney. I know that experience is usually safe, it's what people like, it goes with that, I understand that experience, I wanna pass that on. And if we can have a better experience for our clients, our brand can represent a better experience, people are willing to spend more money. There's a reason why I spend more money on the Heinz ketchup versus the other brands, because I feel like it tastes better. There's reasons why you spend so much more going to Disney World versus Six Flags, because you feel like, look, I'm gonna have a better experience, I'm gonna have more stuff going on, more things available. And so you wanna kinda think about that. And the thing is, is when you think of branding overall, branding really is, it's kind of the set of all these business processes working together. And we're really trying to strategically integrate everything, whether it's from, you know, if we're looking at in terms of the kind of tomatoes we pick for our Heinz ketchup, how we advertise it, where we sell it, all this is going together because it's all gonna represent our brand. And it's gonna put our brand into one coherent voice. That's why when you say, oh, Heinz ketchup, oh, that's the good stuff, right? Or you're looking, oh, we got Kool-Aid. Hey, who wants to drink some Kool-Aid, right? I'm like, you always got this, you're like, hey, I know I got some good stuff here. And the thing is, when you're looking at branding itself, I mean, branding goes through all parts of the company. I mean, think about it. If you look at Domino's, their pizza delivery, their brand is all about, you know, 30 minutes or less back in the day, but it's, it's quick pizza to your house. And so that branding influenced the kind of pizza they make, the offerings they have, where they locate, it becomes a really big part of it. If you're a business school and you're all about, hey, we're business on purpose, what does that brand mean? Well, we need to do stuff to help our students out on purpose. What, what, what are they gonna do to do things to help out their community? What are we gonna do to help out our community? It all becomes integrated through there from the top to the bottom of the business. And branding itself can do a lot for you. One thing it can do, it can really like give you direction. It tells you kind of what you should do. You know, right now you have the whole, like there's a big mayo boom and sriracha, you know, sauce is popular. And so we know that Heinz, well Heinz ketchup, the Heinz brand is all about sauces, right? It, whether it's Heinz mayonnaise, they have Heinz mustard now, they have Heinz ketchup and 9,000 different versions of ketchup. They got barbecue sauce. And so knowing that our Heinz brand is about sauces, well, that's gonna give us direction to say, you know what, with this sriracha boom, maybe we should have Heinz sriracha mayo sauce as well. And so your brand can give you directions. This is what we should do with this, with this situation or in this situation, you know, like, look, Coke, we lead. So Coke needs to make sure they're number one. So we wanna make sure, hey, let's do what we can to make sure we're number one in every market when it comes to colas. And the thing is that kind of leads into leadership and, and in your brand, it really can give you leadership in certain situations. You know, what should we do here? What, what do we need to do? Like if we see, hey, kids are starting to eat more lunches packed from home, what should we do? Well, Kool-Aid is the kid's drink, right? So maybe we should come up with, with our brand and come up with, with juice boxes that kids can take, you know, to school as well and not just have in the fridge at home. 
hey, that's actually a good idea. That's what our brand should do because it should be made for kids. And you look at this, this doesn't look like it's for adults. It looks like it's for kids because that's what Kool-Aid's brand all about. It gives them leadership. We want to have a fun, tasty drink, right? And what's this called? Oh, we've got the Tropical Punch. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Now, another thing you can look at is how your branding really gives you purpose. So we think of the Fanta brands. Like, you know, the Coca-Cola company has a lot of different sodas, right? A lot of different fizzy drinks. And if it's cola flavored, it's got to be Coke. If it's clear and kind of, if it's clear, it's Sprite, right? But if it's going to be a fruity flavor, it's going to be Fanta. Whether it's orange Fanta, strawberry Fanta, grape Fanta, we know that the purpose of Fanta is to put fruity flavored drinks on the shelves. And that's why you see every year, it seems like there's a new Fanta flavor or color that pops up that you should try. Because that's the purpose of the Fanta brand. It's there for the fruity drinks. But also another thing you can think about in branding, what it does, it really can be used for inspiration. I mean, think about it. When you know you're gonna get an Apple product, you're like, if you work for Apple, you know that, look, this has gotta be next level. It's gotta be cool design. It's gotta be consumer friendly. It's gotta work really easily. It's all these things that go with it. And so it inspires you to do a certain thing if you work for Apple, but also for you as a customer, when you think Apple products, it inspires you to realize that, hey, I'm gonna get the cool stuff. I'm not gonna be a loser like my professor who's got an Android. My son won't talk to me on the phone because I have an Android, okay? Uh, <laughs> but you have to think about these things. But also it works in terms of your inspiration. What should we do or what we shouldn't do? Like my Walter's World stuff or our travel things. I'm all about honest travel. I wanna be honest with you all, right? When I do these videos. So am I gonna make a video that a company paid me for that's not gonna be truthful? No, that's not our brand. It's all about being honest. And so we have to look at these things and that's what your brand really does for you. And the thing is, is when you look at a brand, there's a lot of parts to it. A lot of people, when they think of a brand name, they just think the name, oh, Walter's World. Or they think, oh, it's, it's Heinz Tomato Ketchup or it's Lunchables. Well, yes, the brand name is part of your brand. We want to make sure that we have the trademark, you know, copyright, whatever, for Lunchables. So in your brand, you really do have to think about the names, right? So Lunchables, perfect brand name. We actually have another video about making names, brand names. And this is great because look, it's got the benefits of it. Lunch is right inside. What's this for? Oh, it's a Lunchable. You don't even know, need to know what a Lunchable is. You know what it does for you because it's got lunch in the name. So coming up with a brand name, yeah, that is part of developing your brand. But the thing is your brand isn't just the name. It's also what goes into it. What's gonna be a part of that brand? So Lunchables, yeah, they start off with like, oh, it was just like cheese and crackers in there. Now there's like Lunchable pizza. And then there'll be ones that actually have the drink attached to it, right? You have these things. And so the brand and the product, the brand name, the product and how we put the brand together, that's part of your brand. The thing is, when you're looking at your brand, you also have to make sure you can get the website, the social media handles and stuff like that. I mean, you wanna have lunchables.com or, or kool-aid.com or waltersworld.com or drwho.com. You wanna have that and the social media sides of it too. And you'll see companies, when they come up a brand with a brand name, they gotta make sure can I get everything? Because I don't want to go and find out that, oh, I can't get that brand name and I've done all this work. You got to think the legal sides of it as well. Okay. So think of the websites, the names, all that. Also, you think about the logos you're going to use, you know, like my logo here for Walter's World is just an everyday person standing on the train track. Why? Well, our videos are for any traveler. Think about it. This traveler on here, this could be somebody going home for the weekend from college. This could be somebody going on a trip in Europe. This could be somebody in a train station anywhere in the world. It can be anybody because that's what our advice is for. Anybody that wants to travel. And so you think about the logos you're gonna use, the symbolism of it. I mean, think about it. You've got the Kool-Aid man, right? You have your brand characters. I mean, oh yeah, bust through the bust through the door and stuff like the fun side of it. Ronald McDonald, these things, they're part of your brand as well. But also, you can think about your slogans that goes into your brand. I mean, how, or, or the songs that go with it. I mean, how, every time I hear "I'm loving it," da 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 da, I think McDonald's, right? You, like you have those things with you. When you think about it, your slogans, your logos, all these stuff need to make sure they're all on brand because you can't have a whole thing about Heinz tomato ketchup and then you're trying to talk about something else. No, it doesn't really work. We have to make sure all parts of our brand work together. And what we're trying to do is work it together so it's all pushing forward that brand experience so people want to come back and buy that brand again and again. And the thing is a brand isn't just a product like Heinz ketchup or, or Kool-Aid, it's also a service, right? If, if I'm using EY or Instant Young, right, for auditing or, or consulting or something like that, there's a certain thing that goes along with that brand, right? Like you know that, oh, with the EY brand, you're getting high-end service, highly qualified auditors, highly qualified consultants, you're getting the best of the best stuff. And they have to make sure that that experience 
fits, right? Like, look, if it's an EY branch, we got to make sure we're delivering on that. We're going to find all those little text loopholes and stuff like that to help out the customer to give them that better experience, to justify that EY brand and why people like it. And so you really kind of think about that with your brand. Is It is important because it does symbolize a certain experience. That's why when you travel and you're not sure what to eat, you go to McDonald's because you know what you're going to get, right? It doesn't matter if you're an Italian coming to the U.S. or the U.S. going to Italy. Everybody knows what you're getting at McDonald's. It's not a big surprise because the brand is consistent in terms of what they have, logos, everything. You're not worried. I can't, you know, you see a Coke can anywhere in the world. doesn't matter if it's not written C-O-C-A-C-O-L-A. You're like, oh, that's Coca-Cola. You can see it just from the, the logo, you know, the little swoosh thing. Well, Swish would be Nike, but there's another thing right there. So just kind of think about that. But I just want to give you just an overall idea of what branding is and some parts of a brand and why brand is important. We've got a lot of videos that go through branding, like why is it important to customers? Why is it important to companies? Like how do you use branding? How do you develop a brand strategy? You know, how do you figure out what is the perfect service for a McDonald's experience? These are things that companies have to think about when they're developing their brand because it's not just coming up with Kool-Aid jammers. No, it's, it's more than that, all right? So I'm gonna enjoy a Kool-Aid Jammers and sneak off with a little uh, pepperoni Lunchable and I wish you all a great day. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, anything like that, go ahead and leave in the comment section below and uh, hopefully we can help you out. Bye.